Would you agree then that it's probably more beneficial for people to find what they're, because people always want to just chase money a lot of the time, right? So instead of doing that and focusing on maybe this job can make me the most money, find out, yo, this is what I actually am focused on and like, and there's a more, well, if you want to make more money, you should, to making money that yeah, way. Well, even if you want to make money, you should probably find out what you're interested in and compelled by. And the other thing about money that people have to understand is that, look, I've met lots of people who are rich in various ways, right? The best way to be rich is in opportunity. For sure. And money can expand your opportunities. But if, if the money you're pursuing is, let's say, locked to your status or to your hedonistic self-gratification, momentary self-gratification, all it's going to do is bring you misery. Mm. It's not helpful. What you want is to expand the wealth of opportunity that's in front of you. And money can do that. I mean, we, we raised a reasonable amount of capital when we launched Peterson Academy. And what we're most excited about is the fact that we can take that money and make the enterprise grow. There's all sorts of features that we want to in, integrate into. We want to see if we can solve those problems and also then bring it to people's attention and be of service. And that's very deeply meaningful. That's way different than, say, status for the sake of status or, you know, the hedonistic gratification that money can conceivably bring you. And mm. there is some of that and some security, obviously, but mostly money's useful as a tool. But as a end goal, well, it's, it's likely better than no end goal, I would say, you know. So if it's better to be, I think it's better to be greedy than useless. Sure. But that doesn't mean that being greedy is the best form of motivation. It, and it, it doesn't fulfill its own desire, you could say. You, know? you did do a study on uh, happiness with people that are worth hundreds of millions and other people that are just happy with their situation. You probably don't want to judge the quality of your life exactly based on your emotional state, you know, happiness or lack thereof. That's a c contributing factor, but it's probably better to think about your happiness as a side effect of your proper pursuits. So it, say you're pursuing something that's meaningful and engaging and productive. The spin-off of that is going to be as much happiness as you're capable of. But a lot of what's going to determine your happiness is your temperament. You know, so extroverted people have a lot of positive emotion. And neurotic people have a lot of negative emotion. And so if you're very introverted and very high in neuroticism, there's not going to be a lot of happiness. And that's that's a biological fact in some ways for you. You don't want to be pursuing happiness. You want to be pursuing something like meaning, and that would be associated with that like upward-oriented striving that we discussed before. And then if happiness comes along, well, you know, you're a fool if you don't welcome it and if you're not grateful for it. But it's not a good aim. You're saying happiness isn't a good aim? It's not a good aim. I thought it's the only aim. No, it's not a good aim. It's a good side so what effect. If you, so what if you find something that is meaningful that, but you're still not happy? Oh, that's going to happen. You, you know that in your own life. You've built an enterprise. Well, some of that took work. You had to forego gratification. Like every second of the time you were working on building your enterprise wasn't fun. But, but it's weird, eh? Because you know perfectly well that if you're making sacrifices because what you think you're doing is valuable, then even the difficulty starts to become imbued with meaning. And that's a, that's a really good deal because you're going to have difficulties in your life. Yeah. What you want, if you're fortunate, you can have meaningful difficulties. And that's actually, I'd say just that in itself is a better pursuit than happiness. Because happiness is fleeting and it's, 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 it's also treacherous to some degree because happy people tend to be more impulsive, for example. You can make a lot of mistakes if you're, well, I can give you a clinical example. So one of the most severe forms of mental disorder is mania. And mania is excess of positive emotion. And if you're in a manic state, it's like, yee-haw, that's pretty fun. In fact, often people mm. who are manic won't take their medication because it's quite a trip, but it's a complete catastrophe. Like manic people will spend every cent they have. They're thinking up all sorts of wild ideas and it's very exciting. And maybe even some of the ideas are good, but positive emotion can really go off the rails and it does make people impulsive.